passing. Okay, passing. Very important, especially in a high volume bar. But don't get into it unless you're really good yourself yet. Right? You bring someone else in there, there's some real danger involved. But just to give you an example on how, how much we use it, and especially in a busy bar, uh, Mark and I worked together at the Roxy for, for a little while longer anyway. I'm not allowed to talk about that retiring. <laughs> anyway, um, a couple examples. Now, when I finish up a bottle, uh, for instance, we have, all right, so say a cranberry, done. All right, whatever I'm going to do, I will tap. All right, bang. All right, and move on. I don't know if you saw what happened back here. Oh, did you get a good shot of that? Okay, what happened basically, we don't want to slow down at all, right? We want to have it look really seamless and nice. So basically, I need it right away. Mark and I are very in tune with each other, um, and we'll actually stop what we're doing serving a customer and help each other as far as throwing, throwing something very quickly. So it only takes a second as long as we're, we're really on. So I've tapped the bar. He knows to, to listen for that, all right? Bang, I tell him what I have, or usually he can tell right away because we're usually paying attention. I throw it off. He gives me his bottle, which is probably somewhere around half full, because I want to really I want to do things with less liquid. So the, like, the less liquid I have in the bottles, the more tricks I can do. It's a good thing. So I get his bottle instead of getting a brand new full bottle, right? And then he dishes uh, uh, the empty one off to the porter. We're lucky to have one. Hey, Ryan. Hey. <laughs> right. And then he gives him. Uh, so then Ryan, the porter, uh, not really a porter, just for the our purposes, thank you. Uh, we'll give the, give the full bottle uh, to him, but which is also not totally full. So now the people who we want to be doing the show, myself and Mark, have less liquid in the bottle, so we're not always dealing with full bottles. Right? So we can do that with everything, with liquor and with juice. Now I want you to bear in mind, Scott and Mark have done this together probably 15, 20,000 times, but we'll break it down in slow motion for you. You'll get it all. So he starts off with the pour, which is just, look at how clean it is. The lines are just perfectly clean. Now, behind the back, just a little style stuff, very simple. If you've got your zones, you've got this. Again, the lines are clean. Tap on the bar to let the other bartender know what's going on. And Mark knows what's coming. He's got his target there. Perfect rotation, slaps his hand. And Scott's already pouring on the next bottle. Again, now, watching the background, the porter is retrieving that bottle. He's got a new bottle for Mark into his well right there. And the clean cut, perfect. If you do this right, there's no slowdown in service. We have. All right, so say a cranberry, done. All right, whatever I'm going to do, I will tap. All right, bang. 